I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application question on quadratic functions. A new playing field is surrounded by an oval running track. The two laps around the track are to be 900 meters and the rectangular area is to be as large as possible. What is the length and of the infield which maximizes the area of the infield? So let's draw a diagram to represent the situation. Let's say this is our infield, the rectangular infield. Now what we have here is, let me just draw some dotted lines to help us, right? So we have a circular, like both sides. So that is the oval track, right? So let us assume that the length of this infield is L and the width is, let us say, R and R, 2R. Let's say 2R is the width of this rectangular field, right? In that case, what we know is that two laps around the track is 900 meters. So two times the perimeter is 900 meters. So we say two times perimeter is 900 meters, and that means perimeter should be 900 divided by 2 that is 450 meters so that whole perimeter is 450 meters now perimeter for this track is how much so two semicircles will become one circle so perimeter in this case is actually equals to 2r 2l plus 2r plus 2 pi r. Do you see that the radius is r here? So it's a full circle, so plus 2 pi r. So that gives us the complete perimeter, right? So perimeter which is equal to 450. So that helps to relate length with the radius. So we can divide both by 2 and then we say L plus r equals to 225 r pi I should write right and L is equals to 225 minus pi r. So that is the relation between our variables where L is the length of the infield and 2 r is the width of the infield. Okay. Now the question is we need to maximize the area of infield. So what is the area of infield? Area is length into width which is length times 2r and we know length can be represented in terms of r using this relation. So we can write this as 225 minus pi r times 2r. So <clears throat> area as a function of radius will be 225r minus pi r squared. So we have a quadratic equation in R. So we could now solve it using completing the squares or we can, so we need to find the dimensions. What is the length of the infield which maximizes the area of the infield? So we need to find the dimensions. So what we can also do is we can factor and solve it, right? So both ways we can do. So let us take R as, as a common factor. So what do we get? We get R 225 minus pi R. So that means we get two zeros. Let me solve this now on the right side. So we have two zeros. One zero is at R. The other one is at, so this is 0. 225 minus pi r equals to 0 gives us the value of r as 225 divided by pi which is equal to 225 divided by let's say 3.14 equals to approximately 71.66 okay so now the center of these two zeros is the required value of r which can give us the maximum value 
for this area correct so the center value will be 0 plus 71.66 divided by 2 that gives us let's divide this by 2 as equal to 35.83 approximately right so that is the value of r and we know length is 225 minus pi r and therefore l length equals to 225 minus let's use 3.14 times 35.83 and that is equals to so I'll multiply this by 3.14 and then take away 225 and use negative sign of this and we get this as 112.4, correct? Point 0.5. So approximately the length of this field could be 112.5 meters, correct? So that is one way of doing it. The other way is you could do completing the squares from here and then find R. Right. Once you find the value of R, substitute in the relation which we have developed between the length and the radius, correct? And then write down your answer, right? So in this particular case, we get that the dimension of the length of the infield is approximately 112.5 meters. I hope that helps. Thank you.